Does it make you a better shot? It does. Sorry. Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Pretty excited about this one. I finally bought a gun that's been on my short list for a very, very long time. SHOT Show 2020. I went over to the Staccato booth. Uh, I thought it was STI, but I found out then that there was this uh, kind of rebrand. So they went from STI to Staccato. And I've liked them from the beginning. They're in Georgetown, Texas, which is relatively my neighbor. And uh, so I've always wanted one. And uh, so at 2020 SHOT Show, I was going through all the guns, not knowing the difference with the model lineup. And I was going to every single gun and racking the slide, racking the slide, and they all felt great. I stumbled upon one gun in particular without knowing the price, racked the slide, I went, this is the one I want. As it turned out, that was their new flagship. And uh, you know, had to you know, take, a, take out a loan on this one damn near. This is the Staccato XC. So if you need to know something real quickly with the whole STI and now Staccato is in 2011, the year 2011, they came out with the 2011 gun. So we go to the 1911 and of course that came to fruition in the year 1911 and it really hasn't needed a change since then. So it's like a 1911 but now 9 mil double stack and this one in particular, the flagship, is just a whole different thing. Uh, it takes an optic cut there with suppressor height sights. That way you can just co-witness it. I've got a Leupold Delta Point Pro on here. I've got uh, this one, the XC, comes with a compensator. X300 Ultra on here as well. So the problem, though, is, of course, the price. Like I said, not knowing the price, I just went to it and cycled the slide. I went, all right, that's the one I want. And then I found out the price. Two years ago and today, it's been the same. Uh, MSRP is $4,299, and this isn't one of those guns you get for less than MSRP. The one thing that speaks volumes on this gun is I can never find one pre-owned, and so it's kind of niche, but the people who have them, keep them, uh, from what I can tell. The problem here is, again, $4,300 here. Uh, it really comes alive when you put on a red dot, uh, whether it's an RMR or my favorite is the Leupold Delta Point because it could sit a little lower, it's more native um, to this gun. This in itself is about $450. Uh, the Surefire, obviously not necessary, but it adds ever so slightly more forward weight to keep it even flatter shooting. But of course, the functionality of having a light is cool too. And once you factor in the uh, the light, if you want, or even without that, the uh, the red dot, and in the great state of Texas, eight and a quarter percent tax, this starts to look like a well over $5,000 uh, setup. With the light and everything, uh, it is well over five. It's like. $5,300, $5,400 or so I had to put into this one. I'm very fortunate uh, what I do here with this channel uh, when people kind of collaborate with me. But in this one, I went ahead and just uh, bought it myself. But it's okay, we actually have a sponsor that helps with some of the costs, and that's actually Big Daddy Unlimited. I've talked about Big Daddy Unlimited in the past, so I'm really glad they want to sponsor this video as well. They're a gun retailer. You could get guns and gear, optics, all kinds of stuff like that for less than retail because it's membership-based. You pay $9.99 a month to unlock all those benefits, and your first month could be a trial. If you go through my link, it's 99 cents. I put that link in my YouTube description once, and YouTube slapped me on the wrist and demonetized me for a little while, so I won't risk that. However, uh, I've also got the Facebook page up and running, so I'll post this exact same video on Facebook as I've been doing, and I'll put the BDU link to get you 99 cents for the first month on my Facebook. Uh, so if it's YouTube you're watching on, check the link in the description. I'll shoot you over to my Facebook. If it's Facebook, I'll put the link right in that description. Does a $5,000 pistol make you a better shooter? Whatever level you are of a shooter, let's rate yourself from one to 10. Uh, ask yourself what kind of a shooter you are, and then probably take away two numbers to get the truth. So I might tell you I'm a seven, probably means I'm probably more like a five, okay? This immediately adds back that two number factor. So this might actually put me at a seven out of 10 shooter. Uh, just kind of like ask anybody, you know, what your height is. I'm gonna tell you I'm seven foot three. So really, probably 5'11". Same thing with this. This gun makes you seven feet tall. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. It feels like someone forgot to put the spring in there. I mean, the smallest amount of effort the trigger is just absolutely a joke how light it is. The reset, it's good. What do you expect? It's really good. What a joke. Yeah, the only time I missed there, I try to reset the, or try to get the trigger ready to shoot, like prime it like I normally would with any other gun, even with a good trigger, and it just goes off. You just think about pulling the trigger, it goes. Oh, man. 
Oh, wait, come on. Oh, no. Oh, man, I like this gun a lot. I really hate the price. That's the only thing I hate about it. But hey, I already paid it. You know, buy once, cry once. What a freaking gun. I just hate that I like it that much. Damn. Let's get warmed up here. All right. Alrighty, I'll take it. There it goes. God damn. Alright, just for fun, let's shoot the Glock. It's probably gonna feel like a brick. I'm not trying to miss. There it goes. Alright, let's get that tree. Oh, come on now. There it goes. I'm not trying to draw a comparison uh, between should you spend like a few hundred bucks on a gun and thousands on ammo or thousands on a gun and barely have ammo. Uh, of course, between those two, you, you'd rather have the ammo and experience because that experience will transfer over to that gun. Uh, but that's not what this is about. Dang. Oh, that one got the best of you. What do you think? It is a very touchy trigger. Yeah. <laughs> That's something to get calibrated. It, it took about a mag and a half for me, but once you like it, you like it. I mean, it didn't catch me by surprise. <laughs> I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> Dude, I love this thing so much, man. You know when you miss before it even misses. Man, oh man. Usually handguns are a steep learning curve and it's a pretty perishable skill. Uh, muscle memory, of course. I haven't come out here and shot handguns in probably a little over a month and immediately just jumping into this thing and getting spoiled. It's it's damn good, guys. Uh, sometimes you guys call me, um, what's the word, a shill here and there. I'm telling you right now, my own money paid for it. I happen to like them because they're in Georgetown, but uh, you know they haven't wanted, really wanted to do any projects with me. Too bad. But freaking cool gun. Again, I mean, the things that you would immediately notice when you when you hold one of these things is, first off, the lightness of that slide. It is cut a couple places, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's got a Dawson Precision uh, retaining system for uh, disassembly and field strip on what is normally a pain in the butt for bull barrels. Uh, it's very, very cool on this one. Also, their sights to raise it up on the rear. It's awesome. And they're in Florence, Texas. So a lot of Texas going on here. Uh, However, they do put the American flag on the side, assaulting forward, looks amazing. It's just one of those awesome looking guns. It says 2011 here, and if I remove the Surefire, it says Georgetown, Texas on the bottom there. But the trigger uh, is the second thing you'll notice. Very hair, just glass light, guys. Um, just no creepiness, no staginess, it just goes. But it's one of those things, uh, kind of like with those uh, hoverboard scooter things. If you lean forward, you probably fall. You just have to think about going forward and you go forward. If you want to pull the trigger, just think about pulling the trigger and it goes. It's that sensitive. Um, man, very, very cool. And overall, just the build quality, just the tactility, the reset, everything. I like it. I, I hate that I like it as much as I do because it's just, uh, you know, not in the realm uh, for most people to justify something like this. I'm no competition shooter. I'm never going to shoot this competition. It's just to build my ego a little bit and uh, ring some steel. Like it a lot though. So I'm probably titling this, like I said, something along the lines of does a $5,000 pistol, the way it's set up, of course it's a $4,300 pistol, but the way it's set up north of $5,000 pistol doesn't make you a better shot. It does. Sorry. Wish I had better news for you. That does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.